Today we're covering four non-native amphibians that can be found in Britain, starting off with the midwife toad. Midwife toads are a small amphibian found in a few locations around the UK, with concentrations in Bedfordshire and Nottinghamshire. They're originally from mainland Europe, coming into the UK via garden centres, hiding away in plant pots. The toads get their name from the males carrying the eggs for a while before dropping them off in a pond. The preferred habitat is rocky areas with lots of places to hide and are mostly nocturnal, favouring small ponds to breed in. They eat a diet of small beetles, insects and slugs, whatever they come across in the undergrowth. Being much smaller than native toads, they're not particularly an invasive species, having been in the UK for 100 plus years and not spread much beyond their original sites of introduction. Our next species is the marsh frog, which is the biggest frog in Europe and now found all over England, with populations in Yorkshire, Leicester, London and Kent, the original site where they were introduced. First introduced in the 1930s to Romney Marsh in Kent, they quickly bred and now occupy much of the southeast. Sometimes called laughing frogs due to its loud and comical call, the male has vocal sacs at the side of the head, which produce the call to attract a mate. Females are larger, getting up to 15 centimeters in length. The color is normally a mix of green and muddy brown, but fairly variable. The frogs themselves do eat a wide range of prey, but they themselves feed lots of heron species, leeches, great crested newts, so it can be a bonus to a wider ecosystem. One potential issue is hybridization with the native and very rare pool frog, which creates edible frogs and dilutes the gene pool. Number three, we have the yellow-bellied toad. Yellow-bellied toads are a species widely available in the pet trade, with a few isolated populations established, most notably in Totnes in Devon. These little toads are widespread across Europe and like damp areas with lots of places to hide away. Small ponds and wetlands are ideal for this species. The name, unsurprisingly, comes from its yellow belly, which is a warning to predators to not eat it. It has a series of toxins on the skin which are mildly hallucinogenic. The skin is quite warty looking and the eye has a love heart shape to it. They lay their eggs more like a new, individually on plants which they stick to and develop quickly into tadpoles. Being in such low densities, it's not thought to be invasive at present and no similar species exist in Britain. Next up is the alpine newt. Alpine newts are found across the UK now and despite the name, not only at high altitudes. Widespread across Western Europe, these little newts are popular in the pet trade due to the bright blue color of them and the fact that many are almost completely aquatic being able to be kept in aquariums. About the same size as a smooth newt, they feed on aquatic insects, worms and tadpoles. Females are larger and lay eggs on plants with single eggs. The belly is bright orange to put off predators. One of the issues with these newts and many amphibians is the risk of carrying diseases like chytrid, which are wiping out amphibians all over the world, and one of the reasons you should never release exotic pets into the wild. That was our list of four non-native British amphibians. Thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel, liking the video and subscribing to the channel really helps me out. But you can also donate to my buymeacoffee.com link and all the money that from that goes back into making new films for the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. You can check out some other videos in the links here. Also check out my website and social media, as well as the podcast that I host, the Bearded Tits Podcast. Cheers.